hello, it's Sarah. And I got my Colwood Super Pro 2 um, pyrography machine. And it come, I got mine on Amazon. And the company was Smoky Mountain Wood Carver Supply. It was $168.75. I didn't pay shipping, I don't think. So free shipping. And it came with the machine, which I'm pretty sure is like a, it has a dual, see there's two power source type things. So this button has detail and heavy duty. And then there's a, a gauge here as well. So I have to read up on it and I'll get back to you when I do. Has an on off switch, a dial and a detail and heavy duty switch here. And then there's the, this is the, um, power cord that goes into the wall but then there's two this is the sort power source for your pens so you have two plugs here that you can plug your pens into and then it came with I guess this is considered a kit it came with one pen and three different um, tips let's see yeah there's no tip on there and a couple of these are little sanding blocks that you clean the tip with and this is the, the little tool that you remove the tips from the pen with and I guess this cork is so that you don't get burned let me see it says this is the C I think this is a considered a writing tip this is a skew F and then this is the shader and that's an S. And these tips go for eight bucks a piece. So $7.95, $7.95, and $7.95. And then this tool pulls the tip out. Let's see, I want to put, I'm going to put this one on it. And I'm pretty sure I saw this on a video. You line up, there's a little divot there. You line that up with the dot and you just push it in. And then when you take it out, you grab it here and pull it out. And this is um, called the not fix tip. I can't think of it. Because here, look what else I got though. Let me set that aside. You also get this instruction, um, a book. So you get the manual with the machine. So I'll have to read that. This is like a warranty. Um, helpful, helpful hints. Um... And then this just talks about, see the RT system is the replaceable tip system and then the fixed tip system. So you can buy um, hand pieces that you can't take the tip off. You have to buy the whole thing. So I'm going to look into that. It just told, tells about their other machines that they sell. Um, insertion and removal of the tips. Tip packages. So I may end up getting like a tip package or something, you know, cleaning, oh, tip cleaning burrs. So this is just all the stuff that you can get. And then these are the actual wires that maybe you can replace. Because I know that this kind of thing, these wires are replaceable, but you may need to solder it on there. So I'll have to look into that. So you got that. But then this is what I was looking forward to getting. This is called... The Pyrography Workbook, A Complete Guide to, to the Art of Wood Burning by Sue Walters. And I think she is on YouTube. I think, I absolutely have been watching her videos. Um, I think she might be Australian. She has a little accent. Let's see if it says anything about her in the front. Here she is. Self-taught, internationally renowned, and award-winning pyrographic pyrographic artist uh, fifth generation when she was born in 62 and still calls Australia home I absolutely have seen her um, videos on YouTube so that is awesome so I'm gonna have to look through here and read up because I think she does work with these type of machines as well as the um, the one by Walnut Hollow as well. She talks about all the different ones. Cool. I'm excited. Now, 
that being said, I really just want to learn how to do a basic design like this where I can just do some basic shading and have it look more like a craft. I don't want to do necessarily um, the real detailed like tigers and lions and owls and you know all that stuff animals but we'll see look oh there's patterns yay I love that I can practice oh my gosh I'm so excited troubleshooting so this looks like a great thing for me to just study and, and look over so these are my tips I have the shader this is the skew and then this is the writer. So I also went to AC Moore today. And because, see, I did another piece of um, wood burning with my other tool. And this is on, oh, wait, wait. The, I, it's not Aspen Pine. Poplar. I'm sorry. My husband bought me some poplar. And it's so different. Um, it feels so different. And I also bought these little pieces these wood pieces I don't know what they're made of but I was thinking I would do little keychains or something I bought little I'm pretty sure this is just maybe even plywood I'm not sure um, but I did get today at AC Moore these I saw I haven't been to AC Moore in a while and they had these these are called birch coasters but I'm going to carve ornaments on here. And I just thought it looked so cool because it was actually like a piece of tree. You know, I mean, I like these little discs too. But I thought that would be perfect for just making it look like an actual piece of a tree. I got some more. Okay. I got some more um, of those little door knocker things because I want to practice with my new tool. I got an S. I saw a video, someone did the coolest design on a letter, and I think I might just entangle this, but I'm going to outline the whole thing, and then I might just entangle it. Um, they did a specific pattern, and it was like interlocking vines that kept overlapping each other. It was so cool. And this, I think, is bad. Oh, it's birch. Baltic birch. So I think that would be good to burn on, too. All right, so that basically is the unboxing. So I'm thinking the next time you guys see me, I'll probably have played around a little bit and I can tell you a little bit more about this tool. Um, there's another one, the razor, and it looked really nice, but it's way more expensive. And I saw just as many people like this one. So I thought I'm going to go with this one. And um, I'm going to see what I can do. So I'm going to plug it in probably and start right away. Um, and I'll save these for when I get an idea what I'm doing. Because I think I'm going to put like little Santa faces on here. This is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do this. This is a piece of the um, poplar. And it has a Zentangle pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to use this to do it and see the difference between... Um, my other tool and in this one. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.